Major Slack Attack. Boy, well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim and Hell on a Burn Bass at Pure Imperial Run. Well, this is complete. This build is complete, as you saw in the previous video. Hell on a just Kick the mangy scaly butts of seven different dragons without breaking a sweat. And she was even doing that in the end with an empty dragon buster. I forgot to refill it, but yeah, so yeah, it's a done deal. Um, before we take Helena on this epic journey that I've been hinting about uh, as of late, I mean, epic, epic journey of likes of which I've never done before, um, I want to let Helena out of her. Um, how should we say, um, rules of engagement prison, her pure imperial rules of engagement prison. Basically, I want to open the game up because we're going into upper echelons of character development. And this is the point where things, where character development gets really, really slow. And we want all the skills opened up and available to Helena as we proceed. Okay, so now this is a short transitional walkthrough which I'm going to call the unimperialization of Helena. Okay, she's now going to become a full-blown gladiator. Okay, or well, start to become a full-blown gladiator. Okay, so all the rules of engagement are lifted. She's allowed to use any skill. She's basically allowed to do anything um, legitimate in Skyrim. And this transitional run, uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Maybe one or two weeks. I want to do two key things. The first key thing I want to do is set up basically a power leveling machine and get the merchant perk in the speech skill tree because this is going to open Skyrim right up. Right right now we're, we're pretty hamstrung without like being unable to sell any item to any merchant and being unable to sell stuff to um, skill merchants or skill trainers who are also merchants. So that's the first thing. And, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get busy. Helen is all geared up. As you may have noticed, I purchased Breeze Home during the Dragon, the Seven Dragons run. So this is our new headquarters. I took all the stuff out of, you know, we've been sleeping in hotels, you know, for the past, you know, and I took all the stuff out of the, uh, the inn in Windhelm and all the stuff out of the uh, bannered mare here in White Run. Moved it into my home in Breeze Home, and that's that. Next, skill training. The first thing I want to do. What? Let's get yep. the Mage Stone. Another thing I ultimately want to do is become free of the Lord Stone. That means getting a little more armor and a little more magic resistance. So, in that... For the purpose of that, let's buy some alteration skill training. Go to Sarthal, get your mates don't hooked up, have a little sleep here. This will just give us the rested bonus. I'm going to forego the well rested bonus. And we're going to buy some skill training from Toltier. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine. I can certainly share a bit of it now. Real cheap. All right, next. Hang on, I just want to hear my drum roll. We got tons of money. I was going to kill a, a mammoth to get to fill up a Grand Soul Gem, but let's just see if he has a filled Elven Grand Soul Gem. For those with the talent to cast them. He doesn't. But we could use some of these anyways. So I'm going to buy all the petties and lessers and commons, filled or unfilled. And some of you at the College of Winterhold is bound to have a filled Grand Soul Gem. Looks like everything has respawned here. There are few that in spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. 
Nobody's got a filled grand. When I want one, nobody's got one. All right then. Filling up the black star won't work. It has to be a genuine field. How about you? I can't wait. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? There we go. Okay. And let's buy all these. See you around. What time is it? It is two in the afternoon. Let's wait till after midnight. Penis, get your button here. Here we go. You know, or Drevis rather. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Great. You demand. Mm -hmm. Okay, Phineas, before you go to bed. There are few places where one can pursue my type of work without fe that incident in. Mo Take a look. Oh yeah, right. We are. I was just gonna say, how come you don't have anything? <laughs> Every time I see Finnis, is a perfect and Spells I and think of his name. For those with a talent to cast them. It reminds me of the fabulous furry freak brothers. Does anybody remember the fabulous furry freak brothers? Post a comment. <laughs> First of all, you have to be an old fart like me. Um, okay, so that's that done. Next. Um, we want to collect some ingredients, namely some scaly foliola. There we go. Might as well take that too. What the hell? Let's just take everything here. Did I take the soul gems in here? No, I did not. Okay, I got a massive to-do list here. Let me just check. Uh... Okay, scaly folio, steel scaly folio order from Miss Keep. We can do that. We bought alteration skill training. We don't have to kill a mammoth because we bought a filled soul gem. And by now, some of you can easily guess what I'm up to. Misfail keep. Has a little alchemy shop off to the left here. Now, as long as she's either asleep, as long as she's not behind the counter, there we go. Shut the door here. Might consider joining up myself. Do a quick save before you do this and grab a couple. This is not stealing. It's been brought to my attention that the poison known as skuma may be present in our city. Oh, okay. It's free. Oh yeah, because we did her a favor. Okay, great. Up to five, great. We need three more. What else did I want to do here? Oh yeah, right. Let's just wait till morning. While we're here in Riften, what? What? Did you guys detect a thief or something? Okay. <laughs> Figures. <laughs> I'm about to go thieving. Here in the Scorched Hammer. Make sure you're going during the day. Do not go at lunchtime. Go downstairs. Get your sneak on. And grab all these ingots here. Some more up here. 
add some leather here. Yoink. And some strips. And some ore. And some more strips here. That ought to do her. All right, off to Windhelm. In Windhelm, what time is it? Perfect, just perfect. If you don't arrive in Windhelm at 7 p.m., wait till seven. Go into the white file. Let me know if you see anything you like. Wait a couple hours till nine. This will send this guy to bed. Nighty night. My master can be a bit short tempered, but I've learned so much from him. Yeah, eh? Okay, off you go. Sleepy, sleepy. And he's not going to bed. Of course, I'm recording. Let's just wait one more hour. There we go. The stairs are over here. See? Yeah, yeah, you I've said that. So much from him. Now this time, go to the stairs and go up. Go to the stairs. The fuck up there. He's stuck in some kind of loop that he doesn't normally do. Um, this is what we want right here. Here we go. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, yoink. Grab that scaly folio to there. Sometimes there's one on the floor here. And there's one over here. I'm doing this because I absolutely hate foraging for scaly folio. There's one of those ingredients that is really hard to find. Yoink. Okay, we need one more. There are some in Sadri shop. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Oh, okay. Don't let me know. I might have it stored away. Why, thank you. Don't mind if we do. Okay, over here are two more scalies foliota. And... Did we do that favor for Sadri? Okay, I've forgotten that we've done that too. Okay, so we can just take these. Okay, so mission accomplished. Next. Kynes Grove. Some of you who don't know what I'm up to must be now thoroughly baffled. <laughs> don't worry, this is all very important. We're going to collect 10 Dragonstone. 1, 2, 3, 4. Around the inn in Kynes Grove, there are a ton of Dragonstone. 5, 6, 7. Looks like there's a dragon afoot. Yeah. Eight, nine, and ten. Next, also in Kynes Grove, is the Steam Scorch Mine. A great source of Fly Amanita. Let's collect ten Fly Amanita in here. They're easy to find. These mushrooms right here. Two, three, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so with eight scaly foliota, ten dragon's tongue at least, and ten fly medina, we are ready to go. Now we have a shopping list.
before we go shopping, let's continue thieving. <laughs> uh, can we fast travel to Solitude? Yes, we can. Great. Wait till daytime. I'm not interested, Jari. It doesn't matter how many times you ask. You might want to rethink that. And oops, a little life. early. You must have plenty of tales to tell. Oh, yeah. But I'm afraid I'm too busy to hear them. Oh, you don't want to hear about the seven dragons if we took down? No? Okay. Into the Solitude Blacksmith's home. Do a quick save, get your sneak on, and yoink everything in sight. <laughs> no, yoink all the uh, the iron ingots you can, you can find. And silver ingots and steel ingots, but mostly iron ingots that we're um, concerned with. Here's some ore there, and some more strips. And we're good. Alright, let's do a tally. Yep, that's about right. So we have... Altogether, 36 iron ingots. When we, once we um, smelt those, we're looking to have 142, which means that we have to buy another 100 and six iron ingots. Let's start with. Seems there's no Berend. end. Take a look. We got the money. He's got 38. And we also want to buy 29 leather. We could easily get some more leather. Let's be cheapskates about this. Yeah, just north of Redoran's retreat, so let's not Return. buy leather just Anytime yet. Anytime you need arms or... Let's just focus on iron ingots. Off the white run. And it's late in the evening, that means that Adrian has gone in for supper, which means that she's sharing the same inventory as the guy inside the store, which we don't want. So let's wait till Got morning. Good pieces. Take a look. And she's got 16 iron ingots, so let's take all the ore. And we're also looking for one refined moonstone, one quick silver ingot. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Let's smelt up the iron needles that we have. Do an inventory. 95. And we want 142. So another 47. Whoops. I feel a sneeze coming on. Sneeze alert. We've got small weapons, the finest weapons in armor. Also looking for a gold Good ingot. This with you. 
Let's just re-roll these guys. Okay, we're looking, for, we're looking for another I thirty or so. The finest weapons and armor. Don't forget to check another inside 10? the shop if you need anything. We've got small weapon. Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. There you go. That'll do it. Good doing business with you. Oh yeah, Corandum ingots. I help my father. Take a look. Dang it. Forgot to look for I'll that. Take my lead, then. Now he's gonna have the same inventory as here because I most I just of our went. weapon. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Yeah. Until next time. Uh oh. Okay, better stash some of this stuff here. Very good. That's All right. Good pieces. Take a look. Dang. Uh, you doing this on purpose, Don't game? You know I want some friend of ingots. We've got small web. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty there much we go. anything to suit your needs. Okay. We need three. Let's buy five. Good doing business with you. All right, 142 iron ingots, three corundum, 29 leather. We're gonna get that because we're gonna raid a uh, a hunter's campsite. Uh, one quicksilver. We got one refined moonstone, one gold ingot. Uh, that reminds me, we should have make sure we have a pickaxe on board. One filled grand soul gem. We got that. Oh yeah, two straw and two glass. The straw and the glass can be found at any journal or merchant. Let's just Let buy big supply since we got a lot of money. Buy them out. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Buy all the glass and buy all the straw. Do come back. Next, leather supply. Redden's Retreat. There is a 
an, an abandoned hunter. Whoa, let's see. Okay. See, this is another thing I want to do too. Dragons are going to be the bane of our existence henceforth. All right. Looking on, looking on the compass, see that little evergreen icon? That's Green Spring Hollow. Which is bound to be inhabited. Inhabited. Did, did, did. <laughs> okay, Mr. Roman Uh By some kind of uh, predator. Most likely a bear. So get ready for that. It's a bear. We can take a bear, no problem. Here, bear. Show yourself, bear. No problem at all. Alright, and at Green Spring Hollow, there is a whack ton of animal hides. And some chump change? What do you got on you? to bring a pickaxe. Is there a pickaxe here? Fastest way to get a pickaxe. Uh, go home. I don't have a pickaxe? Seriously? What did I enchant them all? Figures. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have to buy a pickaxe? Oh, bother. Uh. Let me know if you see anything you like. It's I don't nice claim to see her behind the counter. finest weapons and armor. Stay sharp. I know. Utter blasphemy. Buying a pickaxe. Okay. Back out to Green Spring Hollow. This will put us right near a gold ore vein. Okay, and just turn to the south. Go down to the water. And it's right here. That's it. That's everything on our list. Carry weight is respectable. Let's go to Valkyrie and speak to the Earl. Nope, some wolves, but no dogs. Blacksmith's offering reward. Okay, that's nice. Okay, back to work, you, you lazy, lazy layabouts. Put down the donuts and uh, yeah. 
Okay, by now, everybody should have gotten this letter from the Jarl Sigurd of Falkreath. Let's read that. Speak to the Jarl. Hundreds of years. Now, this is assuming you have the Hearthfire DLC installed or Skyrim Special Edition. Speak to the yes. Earl. What is I it got your you letter. Want? This is my girl, Helena Burnbash. Ah, it's you. Uh -huh. Yes, well, now we'll see if the stories about you are true. <laughs> There's okay. a group of bandits in my hold that I may have had a few discreet dealings with. Okay. The cut they were giving me was good at first. But now, now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. It will be done. Good. Please be Ember Shard Mine. Please be Ember Shard Mine. Please be Ember Shard Mine! Okay, Execute now this is going to be completely bandit. random. It's going to be one of five different locations. Um, I'll put them up on the screen. Basically, if you've been following the Bur Helena Burn Bash walkthrough, the Imperial Imperial walkthrough, this is going to be a cakewalk. You could get, uh, I forget the names of all these places. Let me just look up on my notes here. Looking up uh, my Hearthfire run. I have detailed notes on that. And the various different locations you could be sent to are Knife Point Ridge, Bile Gulch Mine, Ember Shard Mine. Uh, what's another one? Anyways, I'll look it up and I'll put the note on the screen there. We got Ember Shard Mine. This is a cakewalk. All we have to do is go kill the bandit leader. Let's go to the Guardian Stones. Let's go in the back door of Ember Shard Mine. Because the guy we want to kill is there. And I didn't go directly to Ember Shard Mine because I didn't want to um, engage the guard who's actually quite valuable, <laughs> as you've seen. Bad doggy. Bad doggy. Anybody else? Huh? Okay, so just go up here and then just follow the mountainside along until you find the opening to Ember Shard Mine. The back door. Should be right around the corner here. You know you're near when you see a couple of iron ore veins on the ground. You may have gone past it. I believe I did. There it is right there. Okay, you wait here, Queenie. We're just gonna go murder a few bandits and we'll be right back. Okay. A little bit of beast stew. That's it. <laughs> yep. You can some ass here, boss. That's all we want. Let's go back to Falkreath. the Jarl. Jarl dude, you. I killed the I leader of Amber Shard. Teach them to stop paying me. Yeah. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. 
And at this level, it gives you a whopping fifteen hundred bucks. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Hello. Talk to my steward if you're interested. That's what I'm talking about. That's how we do it, baby. Okay, steward should be. What time is it? She should be around. There she is, right there. Sid Gear can sometimes act too quickly, but he does listen to Helvert and I. Okay, listen, I'd like to purchase a house. There's no house available, but I could sell you a fine piece of land where you could build your own house. Okay. I'll take it. You won't regret it. Here's the title to your steading. All right, and we are now the proud owners of Lakeview Manor. And this is going to be our power leveling machine. Let's go visit it. Closest location is guard the Guardian Stones. And while we're here at the Guardian Stones, make sure you activate the Warrior Stone. And let's ride on out to our new property. Let's go down here through the Fisherman's Camp. Should have a marker. Yeah, so just follow your marker. Visit your new property. And here we go Lake View Manor. And we have all the goods to set up Lake View Manor into a power leveling machine. And that is coming up next video. All right? Thanks a lot for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, stuff like that there. See you next time when we set up Lakeview Manor into a power leveling machine. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.